If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to the Nutrition Philly Podcast your host, Brittany Kennedy, on the phillytech.org netcast network. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Nutrition Philly podcast, uh, episode number six. Holidays are almost over. Uh, we're about to jump on the new year, which is why, um, you know, we're talking about the new year today, why my slide says happy new year. Uh, so 2016 is in a couple days, and this time of year people always start talking about New Year's resolutions and what they want to do to better themselves in the new year and this and that. And so when I was thinking about what to talk about in this week's podcast, I said, okay, do I want to do what everyone else usually does, or do I want to talk about what actually happens on New Year's, um, which, you know, is drinking alcohol, which not everyone does, don't get me wrong, uh, some people don't, but a lot of people do, and this also is just not something that happens on New Year's, this comes up all the time. I have clients who are going out to eat, have birthdays, anniversaries, you know, so you have to learn how to balance things out, and it's also best to know which drink is better than another drink, how should I order my drink. So I thought I'd take today to just briefly touch on the basics. Uh, so that way, the next time you're out, or if you're out for New Year's Eve, you'll be able to make a choice that's a little bit better um, than maybe what you had done before. So getting into it, first choice, beer. So two very broad options here. You have your light beer versus your regular beer. Light beer is exactly what it says it is, uh, lighter. So a 12 ounce beer is about 100 calories. If you have regular beer, uh, it's about 150. So for example, this is your typical Miller Lite versus your IPA, for example. Um, So not only are you gonna cut down on calories by choosing a light beer, you're also gonna have less sugar, less carbohydrates. Now, if you're like me, or a lot of people, um, you don't really like light beer. And you say to yourself, if I'm gonna drink a beer, I'm gonna drink a real beer. Well, if you do, you're gonna be hitting up the calories a little bit more, a little bit more sugar, a little bit more carbs. So to combat that, just maybe taking your time a little bit more with that beer and having a little bit less of them. Um, Alternating with water is also another great idea. So that kind of covers your beer, pretty simple. Next one we have is your wine. So. We have red wine versus white wine. So your red wine, uh, one glass is about five ounces, which is about 100 calories. Now that's what a typical glass is, well, a traditional glass, I should say. When you're out at a restaurant, most people are getting six to eight ounce pours, generally. So it could be a little bit more than 100 calories. But that's generally what you're looking at for a white, a red wine. Then you're looking at your white wine. Now some of you are probably sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, I always thought white wine had more calories than red wine because it's sweeter. Uh, Well, that's actually not true. A five ounce glass of white wine has about the same amount of calories as a five ounce glass of red wine. So the big question here is, you know, are we really looking at red versus white wine or dry versus sweet wine? And the answer, my friends, is uh, wine does not have a lot of sugar in it because during the fermentation process, the sugar turns into alcohol. Um, So it's really not the sugar that we're really worried about uh, when you're looking at red versus white. It's really more so dry versus sweet. Your dry wines are gonna have less sugar compared to your sweet wines, which have more sugar. And that includes sweet reds. So a dry red, uh, easy example, would be a Pinot Noir. A dry white would be a Pinot Grigio. If you're looking at your sweet wines, um, a a sweet white, would be like a white Zinfandel. A sweet red, uh, it gets a little tricky there, but one sweet red you could say would be a Cabernet, which isn't super sweet, but it's still sweeter than your Pinot Noir. 
So the next time you pick your wine, it's not so much white versus red. Remember, it's dry versus sweet. Dry wine is going to have less sugar. It's going to be your better choice. Then we're going to get into your liquor. Uh, so again, one serving of liquor is about one and a half ounces. That's what's in your standard drink when you go out to the bar. Um, one shot of liquor is about an ounce, so pretty close. It's going to be about 100 calories. So again, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, wait, this doesn't make any sense because all of these drinks have 100 calories in them. Well, that is correct. They all pretty much have 100 calories in them. The big difference that we're looking at here is not so much the calories, it's the sugar and the carbohydrates. Same thing we were talking about with the wine. So when you're looking at your liquor, it's really not vodka versus gin versus rum. It's really more so what you're putting in them and what you're mixing with them. And also, um, you know, it's trying to stay away from your flavored liquors. So things like your cotton candy flavored vodka, not really a good option. That has a lot of added sugar to it. It's better just to stick with your regular vodka. So moving along in the uh, liquor line, the best way to approach this is just to learn how to order your drinks a little bit more smart than you had before. So there's three things you want to think about here. You can get your drink on the rocks, which if for some of you who may not know this, that just means your alcohol is sitting on ice. That's it. Ice in your cup, put your alcohol on top. Um, no added carbohydrates, no added sugars. Uh, now, this is a drink that you're going to want to sip, not chug, so it's going to take a little bit more time to drink this. Second option would be to get your drink straight up. Uh, it's kind of what it says. It's really just your liquor without any ice. Most of the time you're going to be ordering a martini, a Manhattan, something like that is going to come straight up. That's going to not have really any mixers to it, which is going to cut back the carbohydrates and the sugar. Now, if you're the kind of person that really wants to mix your alcohol with something, which most people are like that, um, it's just learning what your best mixers are. So it's getting things like just regular water, um, soda water, tonic, or a diet soda if you really want some more flavor. That way you're cutting back the carbohydrates, you're cutting back the sugar that you're taking in. What you absolutely want to avoid is juice, it's just liquid sugar, um, or any kind of fruity mixer. So your pina colada, your strawberry daiquiri, your margarita, they have a ton of sugar, ton of carbohydrates in them. Any of your creamy drinks, um, anything with cream or whipped cream or milk, <clears throat> They're just going to pack on the calories, the carbs, the sugar. So when it comes to your liquor, you know, just keep it really simple. Last but not least, if my slide wants to go to it, there it is, uh, is the bubbly, you know, which most of us have as our toast on New Year's. Now, your champagne is going to be a smaller portion. One serving is about three ounces. It's going to have about 80 calories. So if you're looking at everything together, this is your best choice, my friends. Um, one, it comes in a smaller cup, and two, it has less calories, pretty much hardly any carbohydrates, any sugar, and this is the one that's gonna treat you the best on New Year's Eve. So instead of tr keeping this just as your toast, you might wanna think about sipping on this one all night long. So to wrap things up, and to make sure that you have a happy and healthy New Year, is to be a little bit smarter with your drink choices. Your light beer is always better than your regular beer. If you're going to drink regular beer, just don't drink a lot of them. Red wine versus bright white wine. Not really the color that we're looking at. It's dry versus sweet. Your dry wines are going to have less sugar. It's going to be your best option. When it comes to liquor, watch what you're mixing it with or just put it on the rocks. And last but not least is your champagne. It's going to have the least amount of calories, comes in the smallest serving, and uh, I think it's the most fun to drink anyway. So hopefully you guys will take these tips and apply them to your new year and uh, you have a safe and happy and healthy 2016. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.